session you have learned about angle the figure formed by two rays or with a common point is called an angle so in last session you have learned about that angles formed by meeting of two rays angles formed by intersection of two rays now today in this session we are going to learn about types of angles first one acute angle second one obtuse angle third one right angle and the last one fourth one straight angle so about this four angles we are going to learn in detail shall we learn children yes the first one is acute angle Acute angle is nothing but greater than zero degree, less than ninety degree. That is, for example, thirty degree, forty-five degree, fifty degree, eighty degree. So these angles lies between zero and ninety. So these are called as an acute angle. You can observe the diagram, children. Angle F E D. Here the angle E represent a acute angle. What is acute angle, children? Greater than zero degree, less than ninety degree is called an acute angle. Second one, obtuse angle. Greater than ninety degree, less than one eighty degree is called an obtuse angle. Now here the angle B represent obtuse angle. Angle A B C. That is greater than ninety and one eighty. That is. For example, hundred degree, hundred and ten degree, hundred and twenty degree. So these degrees represents a obtuse angle. What is obtuse angle, children? Greater than ninety degree, less than one eighty degree. Now next we'll see about right angle. Right angle is nothing but exactly ninety degree straight line. Exactly ninety degree is called as a right angle. Next one is straight angle. Exactly one eighty degree is called as a straight angle. Just it is a straight line. You can observe the diagram, children. Just it is a straight line. It represents a straight angle. Exactly one eighty degree. Now let us see based on the angle some example. So for example, see children. You can observe the clock. It represents what time? Of course, six o'clock. But you just you can observe angle present there. What type of angle it is present? Can you guess, children? Yes, very good, children. It is a straight angle. The six o'clock it represents what? Straight angle. One more example. See the time shows three o'clock. What type of angle it is? Very good, children. It is a right angle. That is ninety degree. It represents ninety degree right angle. Now let us move on to exercise one point two. So in this chapter, this is the last exercise, children. Now you need not take down any notes, children. You just observe and listen the class. I will send you this notes as a PDF through WhatsApp. That time you can copy down. Okay, children. Now let us move on to the fill in the blanks. That is exercise one point two. Your first fill up. The angles. Below ninety degree are called as acute angle. We have learned what is acute angle. It lies between zero degree and ninety degree. That's what the angles below ninety degree are called acute angle. Up the angles above ninety degree are called as what obtuse angle. That is the angle lies between ninety degree and one eighty degree are called as obtuse angle. By joining two right angles, it forms what? Straight angle is formed. By joining two right angles, straight angle is formed. Now, fourth fill up. Hand of a clock at three twenty shows dash angle. I have shown some clock as an example. So the time three twenty shows what angle? Acute angle. Now next fifth fill up. The angles formed by the nail cutter. For what purpose you use the nail cutter to cut your nails? You could have used the nail cutter to cut your nails, which is an acute angle. Now, next one, sixth one. In the following letters, which one forms the right angle? Option A, L. Option B, K. Option C, Z. And option D, N. Here you have to find from these four alphabet which forms a right angle. What does it mean, right angle? Ninety degree exactly. Ninety degree. The answer is 
option A, L. L shows a 90 degree. Name the angles formed when the vessel, when the vessels are, sorry children, when the vessels are lifted by tongs in the kitchen. You could have seen in your house, your mother will be use the tongs to lift uh, any boiled uh, things to take out from the uh, gas stove. So, they will be using these tongs. So, it is of obtuse angle. It shows a obtuse angle. Now, next one. See, observe this diagram children. A, B and C. So, the obtuse angle in triangle A, B, C is. Which, is, which shows the obtuse angle? The middle part. Angle C. So, option C is the answer. Next one. Circle the right angle. You can observe the angle option A, option B, option C and option D. So, from this four option you can observe which one is the angle 90 degree. It is a option. Which one it is? Option B. The circle the right angle. Option A, B, C and D. In this option B is shows the right angle because C is up to its angle. So, the other things won't show the right angle. Right angle means what children? 90 degree. Now, next one, the angle shown in this picture is more than 120 degree, less than 45 degree, more than 180 degree and 90 degree. So, it shows what? 90 degree and what is that angle? What type of angle it is? Right angle. Very good children. And today the class gets over. Thank you children. Now, the first chapter gets over. I will send this exercise 1.2 as a PDF through WhatsApp. You just write once in your rough note for your referring purpose. Okay, children. Thank you, children. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Thank you, children.